getting an ability to look for unfamiliar terms from inside the course is always useful for the students. And the best way to do that is to add a glossary to your course. Today, let's learn how you can easily add a glossary of terms in your Captivate course. In Captivate 6, you have a newly added interaction named uh, Insert Interaction. These interactions allow you to add a host of interactive elements in your course very easily. Here, you can go to the toolbar and click Insert Interaction, or you can go to the Insert menu and go to Interactions to get the Interactions panel. Here you will be able to uh, add accordions, tabs, process circles, and uh, various other uh, interactions, including glossary. So to add a glossary, simply select glossary and click insert. Once you do that, uh, the glossary interaction configuration window will appear, which will allow you to add terms, modify the theme, and change the look and feel of the interaction. Let's take a look at it. So here you can see that I have this theme, the chalkboard theme, and uh, this interaction will allow me to configure the interaction based on the theme or the color scheme you have selected. So let me, I think this, this one suits uh, the best for, uh, for this particular theme. So I will choose this. And even if you uh, have a particular theme that you have custom made and you feel that the color combination that is used in this particular uh, interaction is not uh, correct for your course, just go to custom and here it will allow you to change the color scheme of the terms and the text and the text label. It will also allow you to change the content inside this window. Also, it will allow you to either remove the header if you feel that you don't need the header, you just need the uh, glossary terms. Uh, you can just uh, turn it off or if you need the title and description, leave it there. You can also change the color scheme of the title and the text. So you can use this custom button to customize your themes. For now, I think this, uh, this uh, works best for me, so I won't touch it. It's very easy to add terms here. So all you have to do is click the plus sign, add a term and the definition. So I will say new term and say definition goes here. Okay, I've added this term area. You can also add the labels and the definition by copying and pasting. So I have already uh, created a text file where I have the terms and the definitions. So I can easily go there, copy the text, paste it here, and it is all set. Just copy this here. and So it's that simple to add a term into your glossary. Uh, similarly, it's very easy to delete a word. So here you can see that this is a dummy a word that was added to the glossary so that you can see the functionality. I can easily remove it by clicking and uh, clicking the delete button. So I'll quickly delete all the dummy words that are here so that we can add the new terms that we want to for our course. Okay. So I'm just removing this. And the final term that is left here is the authoring tool term uh, that I have uh, added. Let me just add a few more here. I've added a couple of more terms for you here. Uh, so you can see that they appear in this uh, left panel and the definitions appear in the right panel. You will also notice that uh, the words which have terms related to it in the glossary, they are highlighted and they are clickable as well. So once you, once you click it, uh, it takes you to that particular term. Similarly, if I click S, S is visible. If I click E, e-learning is visible. So it's very easy to navigate to that particular term. You can also search in this field. So if I come up and I uh, search for say um, web based training. So as soon as I start typing, that term is highlighted and the definition appears towards the right. You can also also add an image and uh, uh, audio to your definitions in the glossary. It's very simple to do that. Just select the term, come to the definition part, double click the definition area and you get an option to add an audio and add an image. Let's see how we can add an audio. I'll click add audio and click import. 
and then I'll navigate to the folder where the audio file is there. So I will select e-learning audio, that's my audio file, and open it. That file... E-learning is a method that utilizes available technologies to facilitate learning. So I'm muting the audio, the audio is added, and as soon as it is added, it starts playing to confirm that the audio is in. Also, you can go and easily add image here. So I will select image. It again gives me the import panel. I go there, navigate to the folder and add an image. So you can see that it, it nicely comes and sits towards the right side of the text. If you don't like the placement, you can easily change it to left side by clicking uh, this particular button. So you can have your image either at the left or at the right. You can also choose to have just the image and no text. You can easily uh, select this and delete the text if you do not require it. In this case, I need it, so I will leave it here. So it's very easy to uh, create a glossary and modify the description of the terms that you have added in your glossary. Now, if you find it cumbersome to uh, add words one by one here in the using this particular interface, don't worry, we have another workflow for you. If you are comfortable using an XML, you can create an XML and then import it here. To create an XML, you can view the sample, copy the code from here and start building your, interact, uh, your XML and add the terms there. Let's try it out. I have copied this code and now I will go to the folder and let's make a file here. So I'll make a new notepad file and name this as uh, test XML. Okay, and I will change the extension from TXT to XML. Okay, I say yes. So I have this XML file here with me and I will have to edit it out. So I will click right click and edit and here i will paste the code so here uh, if you want to add more terms just copy this particular section and then paste it here and then you can easily modify this particular text to add the label which is the term and the def which is the definition so here i will just name this as test 3 and a test okay so i have this xml here i will just save this and close this out and now i will come here and i will import this particular xml so uh, i am going to the folder where i have this available here's the text xml and i open it and it says your terms have been successfully uploaded to the glossary and i click ok and you can see that the terms have been added to the glossary so you can use either of the ways either you can import an xml or you can add the terms from here so uh, once you are done with this with the customization and the adding of the terms just click ok and the interaction will be added to your captivate course i hope you find this interaction useful in the next video, what I'll do is I will show you how you can keep this glossary page available on all the slides. So you have a persistent button, which is uh, named as glossary or something that you like. And this uh, uh, page, this interaction appears on demand. So don't miss that video. I'll be posting it shortly. Thank you very much.